So that does I if he doesn't do a pole dance, I'm done. What? He doesn't even S hold on. Speaking of, po there's plenty of heroes <laughs> that don't hold on. Morales is like this. Yeah, that's true. With her that's shield true. one and her little gun in the other, she's not even driving. Thank at least, you, Sky, you have a good day. At least he's keeping balance. That's true. But let me say now, since you brought up a pole dance, I'm I'm done. I'm sick and tired. Of this Jaina biz. The Dreadlord I want this joke. to be over. We're done. But it's not going to be over because everyone's going to be like, which one? <laughs> which one are you talking about, Kyle? I'm like, oh my god. Shut I even up. wear that skin because I love it. But it's over. That that That's... The joke is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. We buried it. It's and we dead. We put a, a tombstone over it. All right. <laughs> he wouldn't have anything flashy. I like it. He's showing off his wings, though. So he does do the yeah. thing as the taunt. Mm. There's the perfect angle for it. It's very flavorful. I like mm -hmm. it. He also has a hearth. Oh, nice. There's some vampirage. Oh, he throws his head up when he Sweet. goes. My God. Perfect. My God. Perfect. Oh, is it the Terry Crews dance? You know what? Maybe. I mean, I guess he doesn't have wings with it, right? So. And he doesn't have pecs. Yeah. And Terry would definitely be bouncing his pecs. He's got a nice little swagger. Wings look great. A sizable boy. He walks pretty heavy, which mm -hmm. is great. Oh, look at the stride length. Oh, yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. Well, he's. He does look good moving. Because that's a good point, actually. Someone this big could look a little stiff walking around. But he swaggers. What are we looking at? He doesn't have a tail, does he? Health wise, 2,809. Okay. Oh, that's just sex. Ooh, they got fancier. With news and whatnot. Right, let's make sure this is the... Are we at level, level zero one? or level one? There we go. <laughs> I don't... Uh, we're going to do level one? I've never known what to do with that. So it was 2,809, right? Wait, he's got one more hit point than Johanna? Broken. Yeah, one more hit point than Johanna has got there. Cool. Sweet. Auto attack damage. Let's actually check that as well. That was 109. And Hydro Panic, thank you for the pits. The bits. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of bits. Thank you, Hydro Panic. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, same Lord, auto attack Lord, as uh, Diablo and Nova. Okay. But okay. you got big old Diablo auto attacks mm -hmm. right there a little below Leork mm -hmm. as well. He does not have any turtle skins, but he does have that so robot skin with the face mask, so I guess we could claim he's turtled then. I like that. Got this kind of shadow swipe fell business going on. Mm -hmm. They've added a nice little bit of the turn tech there they did with Alex Straza. Mm -hmm. So you kind of stay with the momentum if you're stutter stepping along. Well, I like how his arm goes all the way yeah. up and in. It's a powerful little swipe. Uh, anything else here? Basic attacks per second. Basic attack range 1.2. Or three, one point three, uh, range. So a little more than Artie and Diablo, but not much. And Leoric, where's Leoric in this thing? He's up there. He's at two. Okay, he's got the full two, so he can reach over his own walls and whatnot. Sammy has a two as well. Interesting. Well, he does have a long blade. Yeah, he does have a big blade, and he's only melee, so that helps him out a lot. Anything else of note here? Cool, about one a second, basically. All right. 
Let's dig in. So, ooh, nightmare fuel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Why is that in yellow? Uh, Malganus heals for 45% of the damage dealt to enemy heroes and 15% of the damage dealt to non heroes. It says hold alt for more information. Basic attacks deal 30% more damage while in a bush. What? No, this isn't a talent thing. This is legit in the. But it looks like it's a talent. Nightmare fuel. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh. oh, so we got a bug. Oh, okay. So we're already under the effects of the passive nightmare fuel. Okay. Cool. All right. But that would be basic tax deal 30% more damage while in a bush and for four seconds after leaving. They also deal 125 more damage to sleeping targets. Oh, there we go. That's cute. Huh. So we'll see if it's actually on or maybe it's just a text. Yeah. Do we have a hero coming out for him? You gonna send out Arthas? Yeah, let's send out Arthas. You gonna send out Arthas? I guess, is it only heroes? No, it'd be anything. So oh, we can okay. use these minions here. I guess we'd get a crit if it is functioning. It was 109. No, doesn't What's look like. the text say? Are, do you have to be in the bush? Yeah, no, attack? for four seconds after. After and leaving. leaving. Okay. So it looks like it's not functional. It's just sitting there. Okay. Cool. For now. That's good, because otherwise then we'd have a broken character to think about. That we'd have to play with upon we release. Do. Yeah. And then we wreck people, because guess what? He's broken. <laughs> Which but I'd be okay with. Lord. He's but you know. Cheat. Yeah. Yeah, I like that he wears some uh, fingers gloves. Probably keep his shirt on underneath, because you have to wear, like, an Under Armour to make sure this doesn't chafe. But, I mean, but if you're a Dreadlord, can't you use magic to... Sure, to hover your items? Yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, does he have old uh, World of Warcraft hover shoulders? Not really. Does you can't, he? can't really see in there. I mean, they're definitely well-supported. Fell Claws, 50 mana. What do we got? 30 mana, 70 mana. Ooh! Oh, that's a nice yeah. little sweep range. Yeah, it looks just like uh, Grey Mane's business. Mm -hmm. I like, look at the picture on the ground there. Yeah. They didn't have to make that special, but they totally did. Well, it shows you look where you're going to end up as well. Yeah. So kind of your movement, I guess you'll end up there, but your slash will hit oh, there. Oh, cool. So you have a certain amount of time to do the next. Otherwise, you put on your five second Right, cool so down. eight second cooldown. Okay. Let's see. Reactivate the slash two more times. The third slash stuns. So I've got all that time. And it fully resets it. And well, my cooldown's going in the background. Yeah. So if I want to be a, a real slow guy about it, yeah. I'll actually have more fell. Well, I'm still getting the same amount, but cool. I'm that much closer to my cooldown here. Mm -hmm. Which means I guess I could do maybe like an extended CC by being like, Wah. And be like, ah, oh, there's the stun. And then the next one, because we're in the middle of the fight, because I kind of lingered those out, do cool, it really and then fast. It looks like you can do it within a second, so then you've got seven seconds before your next one. Yeah, so if you really want to get to that stun real quick. Can you uh, auto attack in between? Oh, I don't see why not. Like, y you mean, like, am I in a state of, like, charged? Yeah, yeah. Quadum? Do your Q and then see if you can auto attack. Cool. So how many auto attacks can you get in before? Looks like maybe two, because okay. you do about one a second. Nice. So. If we're kind of min-maxing World of Warcraft style. Cool. That's pretty sweet, though. And it does hit multiples, as we saw there. So I can get a multi-stun Yeah. on a whole team if they're all stacked up. That's pretty neat. I just, I just think it looks great. And it's the kind of movement I wanted for him. Mm -hmm. I would have been really disappointed, for my own sake, for my own Dota heritage, if he didn't have some sort of movement enhancer. And this that does it for me. That's great. Cool. And it looks great, too. Necrotic Embrace. Desecrate the air. <laughs> Dealing damage to nearby enemies and gaining armor. Kyle hates me right now, by the way. I'm not hate... taking this seriously. You enough. can take him not seriously. The desecrating it's the, all the air, better. That's, too, that's the line that was crossed. All the better for my enemies if they don't take it seriously. <laughs> cool. So armor regardless of if I hit anything. Okay. And that's a pretty long cooldown. Three seconds of armor. Ooh. And I'd assume that we can activate this while mid-clawing. 
So if we were like, fart. Cool. So part of my burst. My burst pile. All right. And night rush. Wait, did. What? Hang on. Did this have a different name? Or was it always called Night Rush in the notes here? No, it is called Night Rush. Okay. Cooldown 16 seconds. 8, 8, 8, 16. Lots of mana. After 0.75 seconds, the same amount as your stun, interestingly enough. Gain 50% movement speed for 2 seconds, while active Malganus can move through enemy heroes and put them to sleep. So that's an interesting connection because it's the same as your stun. So you'd want to do an engage, chase them down, then while they're stunned maybe jump into this and give them the sleepy doos while you mm. catch up and do a little body block action. But you are kind of stuck in your animation because you're mid mm -hmm. while you're still getting that stun out. So it's not going to work perfect, but you know, if that is more movement speed, then you would have walking. And you kind of get through them and then while they're stunned, give them the pursue. Can he move through heroes while any? Yes. He can, it says through enemy heroes. So let's actually get. Oh. Because there's a chance that you might be body blocked by he your ally. That's the healing dummy, right? Because that's an ally? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. No, I can walk through him. No, no, freely. when your E is active. No, I can see, I can walk through him right now. Mm hmm. Oh. So. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, so if we get up here on. He's not technically now, but aren't you walking through the Vikings right now? No, I'm pushing them around. Oh, and... okay. Okay, cool. Oh, sure. Yeah. So it's all heroes. There you go. That's good. Weird. <laughs> right, little hug party. Having a good time. Yeah. You know? Cool. Good to know. That would have been sad if you were trying to pursue and you're like, guys, out of my way, guys. I'm trying. And you're like, oh, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to sleep them. Cool. All right. Any questions about the initial kit? No. That came up? No, those were the only questions. Awesome. Pursue. Winged Guard, which is a Necrotic Embrace talent. Each time Necrotic Embrace hits an enemy hero, gain 50 physical armor against the next hero basic attack. If Winged Guard has no charges, Malganus will gain one charge after six seconds. So it's a block as well as a activatable block hmm. so if i have no charges there it is building up and i'm gonna get one stack of block oh okay yeah cool. and i have one stack of block do i get two stacks of block four stacks, four stacks of block oh because it's for each hero i hit hits an enemy hero each time so wow technically that could just keep going could we really how many have, toggle your cooldowns and let's yeah. see how ridiculous this could be Let's just see Do if it I keeps just... going. Ten. Okay, ten. ten. So there's a okay. hidden max on ten. Cool. Still blocking fifty percent of ten basic attacks. That's pretty. That's pretty sick. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Vampiric aura. Nice. Malganus and nearby allied heroes heal for ten percent of the physical damage dealt. I like Nearby it. Nearby heroes. Yeah. I, oh. And oh, they even put the little thing below him. It gave him a little oh. aura business. It's so and, cute. And it's nice and quiet. All right, so we got our we got our lost Vikings up here. Yeah, there it is. Oh. On their little feet. Calling it back. Nice. That's a nice range on that yeah, too. Yeah. That ain't too bad. Running along with your allies and whatnot. And so far, with what you've seen. What are your thoughts on him being a main tank? Are we putting him more in the bruiser category than the main tank? I think the issue might come up with main tank edge for the stun being at the end of the three, this having a wind up, and his heroics also perhaps having a wind up. He may. Well, we know his second one does. The yeah. The seven five seconds. So he might get CC'd. Yeah. And if you're CC weak as a tank, you're going to have Urel issues. Mm. Even though Urel has, I mean, it's unpredictable CC and yeah. on a long sort of. So that's where things are going to get weird. Yeah. Because if he's getting hit so by CC and it's so interrupting many. his survivability and his ability to do his CC, then he'll be kind of an off tank bruiser type. Yeah. Rather than. And I mean, not like ETC isn't interruptible. It's just that these other 
tanks, you don't aim to interrupt them by ruining them. If his sustain is tied to him dealing damage and he gets locked down, he doesn't have sustain anymore. Yeah. And he lose that, like Sonya, right? Okay. So, I think it'll be very interesting. He's got one more health than Johanna, though. That's true. Johanna has really great tricks on her kit, though. How long is the sleep if you let it run out? I believe it's 2.5 seconds. Yeah, so uh, 2.5 seconds, and I fly for two seconds. So you'll definitely help frame things up. And the like we were saying a second ago, the load up is the length of your fell claws. So you do, you know, kind of guarantee that if you stun these guys, there's a good chance you're actually gonna get off the sleep. Oh, and that's a good point. Leaming orb synergy for the sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Anybody with those longer frame ups, and two seconds is a pretty good amount of time mm -hmm. for them to do that business and get framed up. It also depends how much damage he's dealing, too. Yeah. If he's dealing absurd damage, then we might run another tank to help the CC pile. Mm. And it's always hard to tell what damage looks like here. It doesn't look big. Clearly, you're not 75-75. And, and will we be doing weaving with that for maximum damage because his auto attacks are Diablo-sized? You hope so, right? Maybe, right? Like, it'd be really... You gotta weave, yo! It'd be cool to, you know, to be rewarded for doing something like this. But that's very World of Warcraft. Q stuns in AoE, right? Yes, yeah, so I am, so, and it's only that third hit, but I can hit two people with that. And then, or how many uh, I need. sleep in and claws out kind of a thing. If that could be interesting, you right? Sleep in and then claw your way out. Yeah, kind of like a, like a gray main disengage sort of thing. Mm. Where you use your claws for the movement speed on the back end of your engage. Cool, and then what's the third? Level one. Can I move through these targets freely? Okay, cool. Hang on one second. I want to check. Uh, okay. I want to check if, just like Gray Man, if we can you move want, through people. You know who you want. We can't dress him up, though, which is tragic. But Lost, Lost, Lost Vikings, I have told you to leave. But, you know, you guys aren't hurting anybody. You're not, you're not running around healing my, healing my business. You're not in anybody's way. Back. I did. I did. So maybe on a smaller model I could move through? Yeah. No, I got to the oh, other okay. side of him. Okay. But I do get body blocked a little bit. Can you feel it? Or is it just kind of negligible? Oh, I ran out of mana. But we've been at this for a little bit. Mm-hmm. First blood. John says maybe it's just being big, but he reminds me of Diablo and I'm excited. Yeah, and he does have a lot of similarities with Diablo. You'll really like his auto attacks. If you're ready for Diablo's auto attacks. I just keep thinking he'll be like release Artanis, CC his butt, and bam, he's speed. Maybe, but also you're not. I mean, on on release Artanis, we did not have our swap engage. Yeah. You couldn't swap and phase prism at the same time, and there was a lot of very um, Mephisto-like play going on with that. Mm -hmm. Where people would get in a fight and then be like, oh, there's no way for me to retreat. And they they try to do the dash and it'd take them right back to where they were mm -hmm. and everyone was just ready for them. So you still got this. You still got Night Rush. And Leoric does okay, yeah. right? And Leoric on release was very OP, but I he's still got an escape here. I mean, I can absolutely, without it hitting any heroes, get my 50% move speed and get on out of there. Yeah. Time to feed. Malganus heals for 50 when damaging a nearby enemy hero. This can occur once every six seconds okay. against each enemy hero. Oh! So do I mark them? Oh, yeah, look at that. Woo! I got a little, little, little vampire. Little things. So this is... This is the best Halloween treat ever. Damaging a nearby hero. This can occur once every six seconds against each enemy hero. Does, wouldn't that imply that when I deal all damage three, to them? Yeah, you're going to heal off of all oh, three of them. Oh, right? I'm not missing any health. That's why it's not going away, because I'm not healing. It's that old business. Cool. So now this should remove the go. mark, and six seconds later, it'll, come it'll apply a again. new mark. So we get a bonus there heal out of that guy, is. but we don't have to heal right now. Gotcha. Oh, and it removes it when you've healed from them. Yeah. Huh. So that would be more burst healing. And particularly useful if the whole team's, you know, grouped up and I'm very low and... Can I... 
I wanted to see. Hang on. We're going to do that in a moment. But actually, now we're just going to do this. See how much bonus... Because we're still getting the healing from the damage itself. Mm -hmm. We just then get bonus healing. All right. What I wanted to see I was... I that there's a scream that <laughs> goes out. When you heal. I don't think I'm unstoppable when you during burst. this. No. What? That's a pretty big note. Leor I gave the cons the comparison of Leoric, mm -hmm. but Leoric's unstoppable while he's ghosting. Mm. Malganus here is not unstoppable. No. And you're not only leaving your body behind, you are full blown attackable. Yeah. So it's not. So you can't go ghosting to sleep people in tower range because you're still going to get shot. Smacked. Yeah. So it might be kind of hard to get that off, actually. I mean, ideally, you're totally wrecking it, you know? Not like Diablo goes in, gets stunned, and dies before he can get off an overpower that would cause the complete of the kill. So it's not, it's not unheard of. But yeah, you're stunnable during that whole thing. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's probably a stack we can do. Let's advance. Now are you feeling it? Now, now are you starting to feel my stokes, my my excitement? I was already excited. Okay. I where where's Kristen gonna go when she's at one hundred percent? I wasn't asking if you're excited. Two hundred percent excitement. I, I'm saying, oh, are you pleased with I my feel levels it? of excitement? Your excitement. Yes. I can feel it. As it's, it's building. Growing. It's going. I'm gonna pick vampiric aura now because it's really cute, and that's what I want to do. But it gives you the Warcraft feelies. Yes, but we got to be careful, of course. Gray mane. Cassia during their big moments of engage are doing spell damage, yeah. not auto attack damage. Yeah, so so it's you not gotta useful be aware with everyone. Of who you're against, but now's not the time for that. Now's the time to be like, yes, this is it. This is it. What? What are we looking at? I'm seeing if Arthas's Frostmourne hungers empowers his auto attack. Next basic attack strikes immediately, doing increased damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So Frostmourne would stack with. Uh, Vampiric Aura because it's dealing increased auto attack damage. Now Cassio charge strikes would be awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, four. Fueled by Torment. While Necrotic Embrace is active. Necrotic Embrace, cool, my fart. Malganus heals for 14 when damage is taken and Vampiric Touch converts 15% more hero damage into healing. Oh. It's active. So three seconds of armor. So that means three seconds of being active, correct? Yeah, and that's also a benefit for me activating it at full health. Yeah. It's kind of, I think, one of the notes there. Because then I'm getting some health back for being hit. So yeah. So it's like a back-end damage mitigation sort of thing. That was my plan. And if that is... Yeah, so you could catch more damage. Interesting. Choose a talent. I like that. Choose a talent. Might have Sargeras. Don't people say Sargeras, though? It's Sargeras. Yeah. I hear a lot of, pronounced in-game. I hear a lot of Jairus, though. Well, I think... I know I pronounced it Sargeras until yeah. I heard it in-game. Okay. And it's taken a while for me to get used to, and I, I still prefer Sargeras. I think Sargeras has Sargeras a bit more of a, like... Sargeras is what they've gone A fantasy with. twang to it. Yeah. A, uh... Colloquialism would come from colony, right? What? The word colloquial is that does that have anything to do with colony? I don't. Or could we call it felloquial? Think is that the word? So. Is that the part of the word we can mess with? Might of Sargeras. Necrotic embraces armor is increased to fifty, but the duration is reduced to two seconds. So I guess another sort of catching. Right. If I wanted so to it's catch. it's from Latin colloquium, which means conversation. So let oh. me look up colony, and we'll see if colony comes from extra physical armor colloquium. nope different words calare so you still got your your max 75 armor so stacking with my cool physical armor wouldn't give me a hundred percent duration is that's really interesting though not a bad mana cost for it either Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Echoes of Doom. I like this one. It's the level four thing. It's just W's. Yeah, for survivability W mm -hmm. level. When Necrotic Embrace expires, it explodes again. 
for 59 damage. If an enemy hero is hit, Malganus retains 25 armor for one second. One more second. Does not wake sleeping oh. targets. That's a nice touch because I might do my sweet engage and somewhere in there pop. And then that secondary explosion yeah. could cause them. So how long a do would when expires? So it's three seconds later it explodes. Mm -hmm. And then my armor lasts that long. And then I get one more sweet second. Cool. So, yeah. So, it's kind of a... Uh, that's a this really cute idea. Well done, Blizz. So, they came up with a way for you to increase the duration while still making an offensive ability. Mm -hmm. Without causing it to only work when you hit heroes. So, you can still have that Pyroblast flying at you. Mm -hmm. You just wouldn't get that bonus second. Plus, this would be your Pyroblast talent. talent. Because you, Choose a talent. you get 50 armor. Yeah. But only for two seconds. So, you pop it at the right time. I actually want to see Choose a what, talent. so Choose a talent. I go in, somewhere in here I pop my thing, and then I go sleep in everybody, and there's the explosion that doesn't put them off. Yeah, so I don't ruin myself, but I'm I'm interested if that informed an engage order mm. that Blizzard might be pointing me towards. Oh, maybe. When I sleep and when I do my business. Well, I would say yes, it does, right? Because... Yeah. Why would you have something that doesn't interrupt so your sleep and not use it when targets are slept, right? I know there's an ability I use in World of Warcraft where I can dash to a target, but it does extra damage if I have Blade Flurry activated. Hmm. So in order to get that extra damage, I don't dash unless I have the Flurry activated. Yeah. And I know you can't do that every time, right? There are some occasions where it's not going to matter, but... Yeah. Cool. Choose a talent. Let's advance to seven. Choose a talent. Choose I a talent. guess let's do... Uh, all these are pretty sweet. But let's do Echoes Choose of Doom, since we're thinking about Kerrigan recently, and her little bonus pulse is really nice. Mm -hmm. Four choices. Black Claws. After Malganus hits a name hero with Fell Claws, his next basic attack deals 45% more damage. Ooh. We can assume that this is for weaving. Because maybe I get a hit, and then you bonus can, attack, ah! hit, bonus attack, yep, oh, hit, Oh, so it's known as attack. weaving when you ability, auto attack. Ability, I'm sure it has other... auto attack. I'm sure it has other meanings too, but that would be bad now. Because I only got one bonus attack. You wasted it. Yeah. You could have gotten three. I'm a big and fan. And you only got one. I know. It's only It's only the one, right? Because I only get one, not inside my claws. One, two, cool. Well, we found my talent. If we're not getting CC'd and if we're not in need of whatever that stun is. Because there will be times where, like, Lily's doing her cups. Mm -hmm. And you just need to be like, <laughs> and yeah, interrupt whatever and it go. is. Do any of his alternate tints make him look like the other Dreadlords? Yeah. yeah. They've got uh, the Barimathras coloring. They call it Undercity, too, Undercity. which is a cute nod. So, yes. Yes. Though, they don't have the white skin with the red. He's all red, so you can't do Tychondrius mm -hmm. at the moment. They have the demon one. Oh, the all red. Yeah, Not yeah, the he's white all red. red. He's more of like an Eridar sort of thing. Yeah. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose Will a talent. of Tychondrius. Speaking of... The third slash of Felclaw steals 4% of maximum health from enemy heroes. So we have a giant killer. My yeah. Wait, and gives to you no less. Max enemy health. Yes. What they're at currently or what their total their health total. is? Total. Total health. Yep. Which also means it should be pure damage and go below. So if Muradin's leaping away with armor and stuff, mm -hmm. he would still, still die. He'll still get a claw mark on his bum. Cool. These things are broken because they have certain health amounts. I mean, look at all that health. I think it's limited, though, but let's still get Arthas out here and see what a level 7... I guess it really wouldn't matter in this case. Slap on. <laughs> go away, Lost by There they games. go. They finally left. Okay, Arthas is level oh, Arth 1. Wait, no, Arthas is on my team. That's where oh, I messed up. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's not... Maybe he'll update. Either way. Come on, go to level seven, health. Arthas. This is gonna be uh there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. What am I getting fifty from? Oh wait, hang on. No wait, hang on. There he is. Okay. Agreed. 
Okay, so there was the crit in there for 147, it looked like. Mm. Oh, he's Yeah, he's, he's wrecking me. Look at that. But you gotta keep attacking. It's pretty decent sustain, though. We also... Oh, there goes his armor. That was the bonus burst there. I like that because it's offensive mm -hmm. compared to some of these other ones. Interesting. I honestly wanted Black Claws that whole time that was going because I felt like I lost control. But hang on. New test. Uh oh. I think we need a fresh Dreadlord for it, though. Okay. Because otherwise we're going to die. Your deeds shall be remembered. His armor fell off and he exploded into bats. That's cute. That's what he needed to do. Uh, what I want to test is, does my fell claw still have duration when I get stunned, or do I get reset? Because oh. that could be another stun vulnerability. Yeah. So let's go piss this thing off. I think he did it. It's pretty pissed. All right, stand in it. No, it doesn't interrupt it. Cool, cool. So if I'm mini stunned by Johanna and whatnot, I won't be just out of luck for my stun after that. So that's cool. good. Cool. Choose a, burp, burp, burp. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Spreading plague. After night rush expires, so when I land, deal damage per second to nearby enemies for four seconds. Basic attacks against heroes refresh this. Ooh. Like damage per second nearby enemy heroes for four Does seconds. Does not wake Does sleeping, not wake targets. sleeping targets. targets. So there's a lot in there that's not going to wake up your sleeping targets. When it targets. expires per second to nearby enemy heroes. So I guess if I were to... Do it slowly. It's talking about the explosion, right? Not the auto attacks. But then, well, let's just see it on one guy. All right, what are you under the effects of? Nothing? Oh, I'm covered in a fart? I'm covered in a fart. Night Rush. Deal damage. Oh, I deal damage. Nearby enemies for four seconds. Basic attacks against heroes. Refresh this. Gotcha. So it's like a, a stitches sort of abomination business so i get covered in a fart and as long as i do i i heal for my fart because it's heroic damage okay and i get to continue to do that damage as long as i auto attack a hero within four seconds okay that seems decent and this fart does not wake the sleeping targets Oh, all right. Choose a talent. Hmm. Choose a talent. Choose Nightmare a talent. fuel. Oh, this is the one that was uh, active, but Nightmare fuel. Basic attacks deal 30% more damage while in a bush, and for four seconds after leaving, they also deal 125% oh, more damage. That's the broken text. Yes, but now it should be active. Well. And let's see if we get some sort of alert. Okay, there it is. Oh, cool. And there's the duration yeah, going for four the... seconds. Okay, so you figured out the uh, the third talent. Oh, and it's it's actually for the full four seconds. It's not my first oh. auto. Oh, no way. Yeah. So the Haka replacement incoming. <laughs> no, no. And it doesn't get movement yeah, speed. Yeah, the whole movement speed, the whole global thing. But yes, you do interact with the bush, which is kind of cute. So you get two auto attacks in this four second duration, basically. I guess if I could be right up next to them, but I got to walk to them, right? So yeah. I could get four and maybe another third of one off. But yes, probably two by the time you actually make it to them. And you can't stack it with your other auto attack talent there. Mm. But you would get health and stuff. That's interesting. That Spreading Plague was pretty cool. Okay, cool. So how how did you figure that one works? Uh, it's off of you. Oh. So you become the Abomination Fart. Yeah. So once you once the you sleep expires, you become the fart. Look yeah, at see? that. And oh, as long man. as you're hitting heroes, you get to Stinky continue to boy. fart. Yep. You oh my god. Get a little stink. Well, this this is mine. Get a little stink. You on can you. take your your auto attack. Thing. I will. I will. I'm gonna take Choose the toots. A Choose a talent. What's he doing in the bush though? Sitting. Smoking weed. Chilling. <laughs> he's uh. I mean, he's I mean, doing something he, using performance yeah, enhancing drugs. Because he comes out of the shadows, so it's nightmare fuel. So, you know, it's a spooky, mm -hmm. waiting in a bush is a spooky thing to do. Mm -hmm. You know? That's all it's saying. Just a spooky thing to do. 
I'm gonna do just chill in a bush. Yeah, right? yeah, that's true. Looking out at you, I would be watching you from the shadows. If I was standing behind a door, conjuring a, style, a hike, and some dude just walked out of a bush. Yeah, at me. with bonus auto attack damage. Oh my god! It's only about bonus auto attack damage, right? Basic attacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do black claws because that is basic attacks and weaving and time. fun. Carry and swarm. Here we are. 70 mana, 70 mana, 80 seconds, 80 seconds. Oh. After one second, disperse into an invulnerable swarm of bats for three seconds, dealing damage. Enemies, all enemies. Vampiric touch heals for 100% of the swarm's damage to heroes. Nice. It's a good looking ability. But you gotta take the level 20. Why is that? Because it sends bats out after the enemy. Oh yeah, it gives the uh, gives those AOEs or those little hunter bats. There Choose we go. a talent. Choose a talent. Okay, here's the thing. In the Illidan book, Illidan Choose steals the entire library of the Burning Legion on the Dreadlord homeworld before he blows it up. So the Dreadlords are nerds. I mean, who else is gonna I have a whole nerds. library? Yeah, I think they're nerds. But you know, they're also generals. So, you know, you, they're the intelligent demons. I don't know if World of Warcraft demons have the promotion hierarchy. I think it, the Legion goes from world to world. And, like, kind of like the Zerg takes things into itself that it fell corrupts, mm-hmm. I believe. And that's why there's so many different types of demons oh. in the Legion army. Oh, okay. It's my understanding. Whereas in D&D... You can be like a lowly little imp, and then a demon's like, you are now my general. And, like, and then you get powered up. You can up. become a bigger yeah. demon. So there's kind of a, you can advance in the hierarchy. Mm. What was once a little imp can become a bigger demon. Can we see the healing amount of the bat ult? Yes. Let's get beat up. So many souls to consume. We'll so I guess the question is, how much damage are the bats going to do? Because the healing is one to one. Right, and you are invulnerable during it, which makes it, you know, usable in that way. So, oh, and you can move during it, too. So 98. 98 for each tick. Looks like you don't get... You don't... Wait, he has for 100% of sword damage to dealt to here. See, so the purple is the damage 98, and then you're getting the green tick. Per second. Oh, so I must be getting, I must be doing more than one tick a second? Yeah, because yeah. you're getting more than one hero. No, I'm saying. Oh, uh, you mean per second? Yeah, yeah. 98 plus 98 would be 195. Well, 195 sort of. damage per second. Yeah, so it's split up into 98s, I guess. Yeah. But you can't move, and you maintain your movement during it, so I don't have to stop. So That's you can't actually cool stay sound. with them. Play that again. Yeah, it's got a great sound. What is it? It's like a... It's a sound of power, like for sure. metal or something being scratched there. Or something. Yeah. That's neat. Has a great power sound to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Has a mouthial ult feel to it. Yeah. Definitely. Kerrigan as well. Uh, it's in that vein. But you're invulnerable. You're repositioning. It's kind of got a heavenly sword problem, though, where you're the tank and then you disappear from the battlefield, now invulnerable, so your yeah. allies might get targeted if they're not actually... Because if you're... Let's say you're getting burned and you're being retreated, and then you're like, oh, crud, run, my allies! They're not going to get... You're not yeah. body blocking. You You may be doing your whole team a but, disservice. But I would imagine this is the one you would take if you're a bruiser, whereas yeah. the other one, this health switch, is what you're going to take Choose if you're talent. the main tank because you're Choose right there... Choose a up challenge. against the enemy line so you're in range i don't know what the Maybe. range of this is dark conversion channel on enemy hero for 0.75 seconds the same duration as your stun then swap hero percentages with mm-hmm. the target over three seconds so can you stun them then pop so this souls to consume. or i guess sleep them and then pop yeah them? sleeping would probably be the safe one so that'd be the glow as we exchange percentages. Mm-hmm. Let's get uh let's get Arthas out here. For now. There he is. Alright. So in this case, we'd want to terror blade this business and lose a little bit. Yes. Keep his health high. Just run into towers or something. That's true. 
Because the towers don't ruin this, so I could That's true. How sleep much him. damage do you do to a dummy if you're almost dead? And conversion them. And it seemed like swap percentages with the target over three seconds set by that hero's health at that moment. Oh, okay. So there's nothing. It looked like the poison damage. So you can't quickly heal him up, and then you're only going to get a little bit of that health back. So Arthas can't be quickly healed, and that reduces then how much Malganus gets in return. Because at the moment the spell is cast, that's the amount of health that Malganus is going to get. Right. Though he could receive healing to save him from oh, dying. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's, he would need to be the one to receive healing. So that would mess up. Receiving the... healing before the swap because it's percentages mm -hmm. would be a bad call. Yes. So they see, but then again, I should be targeting something with more health than me. So if it receives health, it should matter. But my main point here being that as long as I, I am free to damage him during this time, mm -hmm. it, it's not a situation where I receive less healing. Whoa, get Arthas's health down. Do you get really low health if you switch with him? That'd be the idea, right? Because it's percentages. Yeah, so. so get him down and get yourself high. All right, go touch the... Oh, yeah, 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 switch with him now. Let's see, let's see. Oh, my God. You just healed Arthas, you fool. Oh, wait, because I swapped. Yeah, 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 I just wanted to see if it worked both ways. That's hilarious. And swap percentage. Oh, my yeah. God. How many times do you think that's going to happen this first week? There's going to be, or, yeah. On release. There's going to be times, naturally, when yeah, where people happen, are like, because why did you why did you damage them? I that, messed now, it up. Now you killed me. Switch him again. Kill yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And it's pure, so I, my oh. armor is going to reduce that. Oh. But in this sort of magical world, we can do it right now, and then get in his face, and we don't have to worry about that affecting our yeah. income. So that's a, that's a good design. It's it's got some risk and reward, and that's fine. And Alex Straza's ult is doing just fine right now, so yeah. I don't think we need to worry about that's it. That's what they're saying. The Alex stuff could be really cool. Let's head to 13. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Well, choose a talent. I guess uh, choose situational, I guess. We'll see. Deep sleep. Increased night rush's sleep duration by 0.75 seconds and its movement speed by 10. Oh, so you're at 60% move speed then? It actually doesn't reflect in my movement speed. I guess because it's a probably a mode. So you're a bat? Maybe I'm in a different form. Oh, wait, no, wait, that's a dummy. I've, I've selected dummy. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, 160. So that might be a good talent if you do your dark conversion mm. because you would want to over three seconds but load up. So I don't want any of the... No, I would want them to. I'd want them to heal him. Because if I do this... The more health he has, the more health right. you get back. So putting everyone else to sleep while I deal with this guy, that's not a great idea, I yeah. guess, unless I'm dying. I guess the better choice there would be to actually soul is mine. maybe do the mini stun to get it off to make sure I'm not interrupted. Mm -hmm. And then while it goes, go flying around and sleep the allies to make sure they can't save him. Oh, that's a good point. Very well. Either way, interesting uses for the Choose duration. A Choose a talent. Choose a talent. The Choose night talent. beckons. After night rushes sleep ends, targets are slowed by 30% for 2.5 seconds. Nice. I like that a lot. Yeah. 30% yeah. slow is a good slow, and I like it. Yeah, they got the, yeah. the little purple leafies on them. That's a good I like that. Choose a talent. So I'd be going that right now. Choose a talent. Choose Blood Rush. When Malganus is healed, he gains 1% movement speed for 8 seconds up to 15. Oh my god, what's the damage you can get this boy up to? Well, movement speed. Yeah, but dude, do you not see? Like, you're going nuts and then you go even more nuts on your enemies with the movement speed? Oh, you mean just, like, you just, mean like, stick, just you mean damage in, in terms of like stickiness. Oh my god. You just stop. Oh, and they're like, wow, we can't get away from this thing. Ah! Look, my movement speed is actually shown in my claws. Oh, look at that! That's just the claws, though. That's still awesome. 
So where is my blood? So movement speed 0% is down there. What do I got to do? Oh, I got to be healed. So I have to be taking damage for this to even work. So that would actually stack with... Uh, is this going away? It's healed, gain movement speed up to 50. So am I good now? No, it went away. Why'd it go away? You're not being healed at the moment. There's one stack, there's four stacks, six stacks, eight stacks, ten stacks, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I'm no longer being healed. There are fourteen stacks. Of whatever it is. So as long as I'm hitting some no no, there it goes away. So it has some sort of duration to it. Eight eight seconds. Gotcha. Eight seconds is a pretty long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, healed. So that would actually, I'd get two stacks for doing is active Malganus heals for when damage is taken. So that'd be my stack if I wanted to do that. Is I would do damage taken. So I get double stacks. Uh, steals health, I guess, would give me another or any of these deal basic damage. Nightmare fuel. Spreading plague, though. Choose would deal talent. many dots. Choose a talent. I could get many dot heals off of Carrion Swarm and increase its movement speed and then do Blood My Rush. So let's take some damage. Cool, it's and then during that CC, yeah, there you go. have movement speed for my... Does Lucio give you near instant max stacks? I guess that would be little mini heals, right? But it's 15%. So I'd rather have the slowed at the moment. But it's a cute idea, and it stacks with your carrion swarm, which is interesting. Well, I just wonder if you can turn them into one of those things where you, the good ones just can't be killed. Choose a talent. You know what I'm talking about? The good ones. You just <laughs> <laughs> the people who play these heroes well. You just can't kill them. They're a yeah. Force. I mean, but it's just they it's show just up and everybody speed. runs. But you that okay? So the you're mental thinking of Sonya, picture, right? Like yeah, that when you're Illidan, Sonya, yeah. movement speed, and it's just you're thinking when you're all Illidan up and you're just and you're Sonya and you have your movement speed and you're just slamming some guy as they try to run away and, and you got the buff from yeah. your, your little no. I get you. I get you, man. Just wreck. They can't catch. They can't kill what they can't catch. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Can we turn him into one of those? Is my question. Maybe. Really. Because if we can, I'm going to be playing a lot of Malganus. Choose a talent. Plague bats. Necrotic embrace. Necrotic embrace. Unleashes a wave of bats in front of Malganus. Cool. Dealing damage. There we go. So a little reference to his uh, carrying wave. It's cute. It <laughs> moves a little faster. Yeah, it's a little faster. Okay, cool. Got to be facing the right direction, but some bonus damage out of that. Mm -hmm. Every eight seconds, though, so seems weird. Choose a talent. Choose seems a weird? Talent. Choose well, a talent. I mean, I, to... Do you, should bat, bat waves appear faster? Talent. I'm just saying that if this is a survivability talent, I'm getting heals every eight seconds mm. so is one of these other survivability talents active but more your basic attacks right or your damage oh no i'm getting healed all the time yeah i'm just saying oh okay like johanna we take Those the blind like, the big burst yeah. Heals, though. yeah and and on johanna we take the blind heal but it's mm -hmm. also because the things on that level aren't great yeah. so it's kind of like a wait i'm using my blind to heal don't i want to use it to blind kind of thing like you know yeah. it, it, it may it may butt heads do the bats uh always come out toward the mouse cursor or where malganus is facing it, it was a mouse my cursor thing or well, i guess gathered. so it's where i'm facing yes so it's a diablo thing so like new diablo you're gonna have to make sure you're facing the right direction when you use it otherwise you might be trying to old diablo and be doing a stutter step away, and then you pop it the wrong direction. So you're gonna have to use it, step, then turn yourself around. I guess your auto attack will turn you around, so I'm stutter stepping, I'm stutter stepping, and then pop it there as I'm turned that way before I make my escape. Cool. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Frenzied Assault. Basic attacks against heroes with higher health percentages grant 40% attack speed. And 10% physical damage for three seconds. Basic attacks against heroes with higher health percentages. Hmm. 
That's pretty cool. So a lot of these things don't work on these guys. So let's get Arthas back out here. Oh my god. There he is. So let's lose our battle a little bit. You're winning too hard, right? Look at look at the health you're getting back as you smack him. Here's with higher health percentages. So did I get my attack speed bonus? Attacks per second. Strike. Where was my no I mean, that's a good point. Arthas uh, is technically second. slowing your attacks. Oh, he could be, right? Enemy. He, do, he does have that uh, that aura that he had going. Yeah, yeah. Again. So let's let's try someone else. Let's do. A new barakakakak. Keep it with the Frost Bros. Yeah. What about the King Penguin? King Penguin. Oh, yeah, King Penguin. What about the King Penguin? But that would still mean the math was working out perfectly, which it might actually. Yeah, there we yeah, go. There okay, is. cool. So I am now empowered and dealing more increased damage for three seconds. So it works. I just don't have any way to really know it's working on my bars. No, but you can see it. You can feel it. Those, yeah. Those auto attacks definitely yeah. feel faster. Interesting. And telegraph faster. I mean, it's cool. I don't mind it. I mean, and honestly, I don't what know we're doing. if your basic attack speed boost needs to be telegraphed because the basic attack itself is telegraphed. And you know your character when it's hitting yeah. faster. Yeah. I, I was just curious about the increased physical damage, like uh, where on the bar, maybe I glow, mm -hmm. is there some sort of way for the enemy to know that they're messing up, and is there a way for me to know that I'm doing it right, is my thought. You just gotta auto attack. You just gotta feel it. You gotta, gotta feel it in your bones. Feel it. Choose a talent. You know every hero has Choose their rhythm. Blind as a bat. Cool down 80 seconds, activate to interrupt and erupt. Yes. With blind rage, removing the cooldown oh, and mana cost of fell claws, but losing all vision. Last six seconds. Do it. Time to go. Aw. What? You can well, still see the mini-map. Well, these uh, these guys again, the target dummies probably don't Yeah, let's work. pull out a new Barak again. There he is. He wants to attack that healing dummy. We'll get some minions for him here. I want to see if you can still see him on the mini-map. No. No, everything's blind. I can see the body block, though. And That's I awesome. can see my healing. Yeah. So if you're not hitting anything, then you're not going to heal. There we go. So I healed. Missing. Yeah, I healed yeah. something there. Oh, that's cool. Your enemies fall before you. That's pretty neat that I can still see the healing, and that's kind of my exchange that I'm doing anything right. Mm -hmm. And these are toggled cooldowns at the moment. So, well, but this is uh, removing all cooldowns and mana cost from fell. So. <laughs> toggle cooldown here. This is an 80 second cooldown granted, but even with this off, I would still have infinite and I can still pop my armor. Um, can you see your allies? Let's see. Very well. No, they're off there too. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so you're full on uh, self dahakan. Mm hmm. Uh -oh. oh, you switched it, Kyle! Yep, we switched health. So badass. You're like, here, I'm going to heal you before you are. I mean, that's you're dead. super cool. We wouldn't. Oops. So, no Oops. auto attack weaving during that because you can't right click anything. Mm -hmm. So, if you were to do a blind as a bat build, you would want to do. Oh, third slash of fell steals 4% maximum health. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, so you do that Choose guy. A Choose a talent. Probably some other stuff talent. too. Mm -hmm. Perhaps carrion swarm then. You'd want to do passives because you're not going to go ghost in. And blind as a bat. Let's try that out. Oh, you can get right up on that tower range. Look at that. Now, one last check here. 
<laughs> oh my god. Can I? Okay, I can ghost during this. So if things were to get hairy. Okay. I can also. I mean, I look damn sweet. Eyes aglow. Ooh. Yeah, so I can use everything. I can use carrion to get out. So this would be better with carrion in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to complete a right click dark conversion anyway. And in fact, for our first game, I'm probably going to avoid dark conversion, just so we don't mess anything up. Oh, okay. Do easy stuff. That's super duper cool, though. Let's go to 20. Yeah. Choose a talent. Choose or, a talent. Uh, so I'm just doing my weaving. Maybe we'll do some carry and swarm, though, to make things easier. Slow to make things easier. Uh, Frenzy Assault, super cool. Seeker Swarm. Upon expiring, carry and bats seek nearby enemy heroes, dealing damage and the sleeping one. them. So you I'm, get the cute little bats. But upon expiration, right? Mm -hmm. Here they go. Yee. Cool. So they have a they have a range to them. Looks like it's a 2.5 second sleep as well. Yeah. So they kept that cons- Oh! So pretty short see, range. He threw it up! He threw it up! Super cute though. And that would be your survivability talent, right? Because then if something's pursuing you, yeah. you could be going ham, 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 and then be like, ah, I'm all out. right, everybody run for it. And then on your way out, you give a little sleep on your backside yeah. and run for it. Or you frame up everybody for a sweet well precision strike or oh, whatever. And Seeker Swarm is a Tachondria spell from Warcraft. Oh, yeah. neat. World of Warcraft. I, I want to do those uh, raids just to see them in there. Mm. There's apparently some really cool lines that they say as well. Uh, there was lots of fortune telling in the last expansion. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Hints at things to come. Mm. Let's see. Well, to, to one of them, when uh, I think it's Tychondrius kills you, if he wipes the whole raid, he says, be lucky it wasn't her. I hope it's Sylvanas, because then she would raise me as a Forsaken again. There you go. I Choose never die. Let's talent. see what Wrath of the Nath. Thriza? I guess that's the plural of Nathraz Oh, Nathrazine? I didn't know there was a Nathraza? Wrath or maybe it's the singular Or maybe it's their planet. Because it's the Nathrazim. Yeah, that's the that's the people. I would imagine the Nathraza. That's the plural. But it could be their planet. Oh, Nathraza yeah. is their planet. Which goes okay. to the whole Argus and that they steal from different planets, Zerg style okay. kind of thing. Enemy heroes near the target suffer 75% of the transferred health as damage Ooh. over three seconds. Does not benefit from vampiric touch, though. Ooh. So you deal just bonus damage. Let's see if it works yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, so there they are, affected by it. Huh. Cool. That's pretty sweet. There's lots of talents like that where you now deal splash damage, and mm -hmm. they can be hit or miss. It'll be Choose interesting to see how that goes. Choose what else is here? Vanquish, Vanquish the, weak. the weak. Damage from fell claws and basic attacks slow the enemies by 15% for 1.5 seconds, and Vampiric Touch converts 10% more damage into healing versus slowed heroes. I like that. Oh my god. Yeah. Slow yes. enemies. And then... Kind of a, it's like a Nexus Blades update. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. Choose Definitely down. pushes him to look Choose more like down. a bruiser with something like that on mm -hmm. his 20. Alone in the dark, enemy heroes put to sleep by a night's rush have their vision greatly reduced during the sleep and for two seconds after. Ooh. Huh. Very well. Greetings. Random question. Which ult appears to be the go-to on watching the video the oh, live look swap? At that. Ooh. So very melee. Yeah. I don't even know where we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Very melee. Nice. And I'll trade you the favor. Thanks, man. Huh. Uh, which old appears to be the go-to on watching the video? The life swap seemed the most powerful, or is it more of a it depends? I think because of the things you will be affected by, at least for today, I think Carrion Swarm is going to be better, but Dark Conversion, maybe if we're more structured, might be the better pick. 